This is Wayla Shambo for WHRO-FM. The Dali Quartet is in town this week joining pianist Olga Kern for three Virginia Arts Festival concerts, an evening concert on Monday night, and then two coffee concerts later in the week on Wednesday and Thursday mornings. I spoke with the quartet's first violinist, Dominic Salerni, about what makes the group unique and the repertoire they'll be playing on these concerts. So the Dali Quartet was formed in 2004 by Carlos Rubio and Adriano Linares, and it was founded, um, I think, originally as uh, all four Venezuelans. And at the time, Dali, of course, it was the 100th anniversary of his birth, uh, and there happened to be a wonderful exhibit showing at the Philadelphia Art Museum. Uh, Dali, at the, at the time, uh, also was the four initials of, of the uh, founding members. So it was sort of this wonderful confluence of sort of honoring uh, Dali as uh, as a figure and as sort of someone who pushes boundaries and maybe redefines things, uh, but also including the member names and, and sort of setting the tone for what I think is the mission of the Dali Quartet, which is to, you know, champion Latin American composers. So the Dali Quartet is really committed to bringing educational programs to a wide range of audiences, whether it be school children or college students or you know, people in retirement homes, you know, we try to bring our classical roots, but Latin soul to bear in our programming and in particular um, in our educational and community engagement. So on the Monday night concert at the Robin Hickson Theater, you'll be playing the Shostakovich and Brahms piano quintets. Can you tell us a little bit more about those works? Sure. Well, these um, have sort of become staples uh, in in this particular, I guess you could almost call it a genre. I mean, of course, uh, Robert Schumann wrote the first one, uh, but Brahms and and Dvorak um, quickly followed suit. I want to say most of the composers of the late uh, 19th century and into the 20th that we can think about have at least one and sometimes two uh, piano quintets. And it's a wonderful way of, you know, sort of exploring more orchestral timbres, but keeping, you know, that chamber music vibe going. The Brahms uh, originally uh, was intended to be a cello quintet in the, in the manner of Schubert. Uh, and then I think it was Clara Schumann that told Brahms, uh, maybe, maybe that's not a great idea. Let's, let's make a piano quintet out of it. Um, and Shostakovich, I think, wrote his to uh, sort of display his compositional virtuosity um, and also as a vehicle for uh, leaving the Soviet Union to go on tour. The Brahms is symphonic in its uh, conceit, and the Shostakovich is sort of maybe somewhat autobiographical, uh, but also sort of the best of Shostakovich. So it should be, you know, if you're into these composers, they certainly deliver in both pieces. If you're new to them, um, I think there's just going to be a, a, an incredible amount of variety at play. And on the two morning coffee concerts, you'll be playing Schumann's Piano Quintet and also the String Quartet Number no. 1 of Gina Stera. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, the Gina Stera, we love his music because, you know, it's, it's this wonderful kind of unapologetic mixture of, of European influence and, and Argentinian uh, folklore, if you will. Um, I think in the manner of Bartok, you know, you have someone who's really trying to answer the question, what does it mean to be Argentinian? Um, And then this first string quartet, you have kind of an arch form going on where you sort of begin maybe in the daytime on the Pampas and you end in sort of the same place. But in the middle, uh, you kind of get that sort of more something goes bump in the night kind of kind of sounds and you get a much more ethereal and and more sort of uh, peaceful uh, kind of approach. So it's it's a wonderful work that, that we played uh, a lot now and, and we're, we, we're really we're just really fond of and it's just a lot of fun. That sounds fantastic. Looking forward to hearing it. And can you tell us a little more about the Schumann Piano Quintet? It's just a wonderful piece of music. It's got a wonderfully sort of pathos-driven flow movement. The scherzo is wild and with Olga very fast. So we're really excited to, to rock out with her. Uh, and the last movement... Um, it's just, it kind of, it's funny, I just recently played the Mendelssohn Octet, and there's a similar kind of uh, fugal passage in, in the last movement of the 
uh, Schumann Piano Concerto, uh, Piano Concerto, excuse me, Piano Quintet, um, that I think is reminiscent. They're also, they share the same E, e flat uh, major, so it's just this glorious romp through, uh, through, through beauty. The Dali Quartet performs three concerts this week with pianist Olga Kern. You can find all the details at the Virginia Arts Festival website. That's vafest.org. This is Wayla Shambo for WHRO-FM, wishing you a wonderful musical week. ¶¶